And I think who we are matters much more than what we do. Each and every person in this room, there's a reason that you're here. But in the end, in the end, what we're looking for are people who come together and realize that it's not rural against urban. It's not farmers against consumers. I just want to help people remember. Remember who they are. Remember what they're made of and remember what makes us thrive. And one thing you can do without a single word is hug somebody. Eating good should feel good. We can lose weight and feel satiated, right? We can be healthy and not go without. And this is sort of a challenge that I've started to give out to people. And it should go without saying, but it's something we don't really think about. Here's the challenge. Every single time you sit down to eat, and then eat, and then get up from that table, you should feel better than when you sat down. There is an intelligence inside of you that is always trying to thrive. It is adapting to whatever physical stress, chemical stress, emotional stress you throw at it. It's trying to adapt and self-correct. And don't buy the lie that the influencers are the people with over 100,000 followers. Oh no. I mean, they have their place, but each of us is influencing every person around us and what is happening in this world. So I just want to encourage you to take this day, take this moment to be and to breathe. There isn't any them and us. <laughs> it's just us. We look in the mirror and there isn't any them. It's us. And so how we're, how we're relating, how we're working together, and how we're committing to these win-win solutions for our ecological womb, ultimately our nest, the nest that we're living in, to clean it up, make it healthy, reduce desertification, increase hydration, increase soil building. All the things that are going negative today, if we implement these principles, they can all go positive. And, as, and, and, and wouldn't that be cool for all of us to realize that I have participated today in building soil, bringing more potable water, more breathable air, and more cultural equity to our world. You're here, and you will take from this experience and from this life whatever you choose. It will not be spoon-fed to you. You will have to go and get it, and it's worth working for. It is your choice to survive or to thrive. So take a big, deep breath. Open your eyes and just look around for a second men and women that also could be anywhere from wildly different walks of life, no two remotely the same. So look at your life and just make a list. What is siphoning my energy? What's stealing energy from my body, from my heart, from my mind? It's gotta go. It's an adventure. There will be challenges. There will be things, but I think if we come to our senses, if we ground, unplug, move and explore, will be who we were meant to be and we will thrive.